Welcome back, everybody. I'm recording and it's pretty rainy, so I don't know if that'll come through in the video or not, but we'll see. Um, in the video where I described this pendant and where I carved it, I mentioned that I wanted to talk a bit about backings and potch. So, Black Opal Direct had a live stream, by the time this video comes out, it would have been last week, and in that live stream, they were talking, well, people were asking in the chat a few times because they didn't get around to the question straight away, but they were asking a few times about how much potch he needs to leave on the back of an opal to be able to get a nice cabochon. And his answer was pretty good, but it was really focused on the piece that he was carving at the time and not much of a general discussion on it. So there's a lot of variables that affect how, how much potch you're going to actually leave on the back. And it comes down to each opal individually. I think what the people were really asking is how thin is too thin for a piece of opal? So if you look around online, you'll see that most opals are kind of listed with their dimensions saying that the thickness at minimum should be about two mils. So here, I might have to actually zoom out a little bit, which will, yep, remove all the focus, good. So two mils is right about there. But that for me is a really thin opal. And for some opals, two mils just won't work. So if you've got a crystal opal that you see that you can see through clearly, then two mils is gonna make it so that the color almost fades away and you'll see more of the back than anything else. So you have to really judge based on the opal. If you've got some solid dark potch behind it, yeah, sure. Two mils is way more than enough. But if it's a crystal or if it's got some, if it's a white backing, sometimes you just want that little bit more and you want it to be at least three mils thick. And that goes back to what the issue is with this piece here that I've got, because I'm torn between a whole heap of different choices. And if I do, like this one could probably go with a two mil, two mil backing behind the opal and be perfectly fine because it's not very crystalline. But if I look at two mils, it pretty much means that I'm just on that color bar. But if that color bar turns out not to be great, then I've just got a two mil sliver of semi-decent opal then. Whereas if I just go with, stick within my comfort zone and go to three mils, I'll pull just short of that color bar. But at least then, then this front face is 100% and I can make a pendant a three mil, maybe three and a half mil pendant, which is much more, much more strong really. And that's what, that's what Justin was talking about during that live stream about the strength of an opal, because this is really fragile material if it's thin. At two mils, you can have a really thin, fragile opal, which isn't so bad if it's a really small piece, but if it's a long piece like this and it's two mils, I could just get my fingers and just snap this in half or if it was like lightly dropped bam it's dead so your thickness depends on the type of opal you've got the type of strength qualities you need it to have but also what you're trying to get out of the stone so whether your color will show well enough with a thin thin opal which in the crystal case it won't or whether you've got a double-sided stone and you want that second side to show and you're happy with a thin a thin opal. I think for this, the more I look at it, the less likely I am to try to get that second color bar out. I think at two mils, it's gonna to be too fragile at such a big piece. And it's, yeah, if it is to go into a pendant or something, pendants get knocked around, and a two mil long cabochon like this, it can't get knocked around when it's at that kind of stage. I think this one needs to be kept to at least three, maybe even four mils if I want to drill through the side. So yeah, I hope that I hope that answers some questions. I have seen that question come up a lot in other in other videos online. So yeah, you've just really got to play it case by case and do what's best for the opal that you've got in front of your face. So 
two mils is the pretty much the absolute minimum anything less than that and you're basically just gonna need to make a doublet out of it and even at two mils you can make some doublets out of that if it's crystal material that you're just seeing straight through so yeah hopefully that helps some people decide on what they're gonna do with their stones and how to get the best out of their stone and yeah I'll see you in the next video where I'll probably be reviewing a rough parcel or going on to another carving hopefully another carving because this one's this one's still got me eager to do more grey grey based stuff I've also got a long term project that I'm still working on and that'll be announced in hopefully a couple weeks I haven't been the best at the moment in terms of health so I've yeah I've been struggling to be able to record and carve or anything like that I did get a corona swab though if anyone else has had one it's uh yeah it's it's an experience I came back negative so we're all we're all good but yeah they really dig into your brain to get that swab so yeah I'll see you all on the next video